Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out this really cool looking off-road rock crawler. Now we are going to be testing it out in the Arctic because that's actually what it's designed for. As you can see, this is a snow plow and you're supposed to attach these two using these connectors, which is pretty cool. So with this thing, we're going to be doing some off-roading, we're going to be bringing some passengers to their destination and we're going to have a fun time. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's get inside this and oh, the door's pretty cool looking how it opens up like that. But wait a second, we can't close it. Uh, okay, there we go. You can close it. You just can't really see the button. So you don't really know where to press. Okay, let's hop in the driver's seat and turn this thing on. Start engine. Oh, it has screens. That's cool. High beam, low beam. We don't need that. It's not nighttime yet. Let's turn on cabin light, heater. That's a necessity and remote control. Oh, you can remote control this. That's pretty cool. And let's close the door. Nice. Okay. Okay, so this thing's manual. I actually have to manually control the gears. Oh, this thing has tank steering. That's pretty cool. Tank steering lets you be so much more maneuverable, which is great. Hey, look at this. I can turn on my t turn signals by pressing buttons. That's cool. Okay, I need to figure out how to turn on these front connectors. I'm not sure if they're already automatically on, but I don't think so. They wouldn't. They shouldn't be. But, well, you never know. So let's try just uh, attaching it without turning on it. Oh, it is actually already on. That's great. But it looks like we've got the connectors on the wrong way so let's disconnect that and reconnect it the correct way and to do that we're gonna have to push this over to the right a little bit so it's looking the right way Oh, okay. It reconnected itself automatically. Now, next, we're going to have to connect these electric connectors. Oh, okay. Those things went on perfectly. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing. It's really fun to manually put this thing on. It adds a little bit of detail that you wouldn't have if it was automatically put on for you. Although it's a little inconvenient at times. So let's see. Oh, did you, did you guys see that? It was jumping up and down. I'm not sure if it's... Oh, okay. I just saw something what is happening okay i have no idea why this thing i think it's catching on the ground and then lifting itself upwards that's not good i think we're gonna have to get rid of the snow plow that really sucks because it looks really cool but it just doesn't work so sadly we're gonna have to get rid of it let's see so let's grab this uh grab that and lift it backwards okay good hopefully that doesn't automatically reconnect somehow and then we grab the left fluid and the right fluid and there we go perfect okay let's go back here and i've noticed the speed of this thing is probably really really slow that should be on purpose because this is meant to be rock climbing or going through tough terrain as you can see by the fact that it has treads you know so we're gonna have a total of four passengers and those are our first two way over there cool wait a second guys we don't have any seats we only have this one other seat and other than that there's zero seats on this thing okay i'm gonna go fix that real quick okay so the seats are here and i put them on the side because i just want to see these npcs dangling off the side like this wait it actually looks like i'm resting my back on the tread that's probably not a good idea to do that while the treads are moving how many gears does this have i've seen trucks that have like 10 gears so i'm wondering if this thing has like a ton of gears too so we're on four gear now fifth gear and sixth gear now seventh gear okay this is so many eighth gear ninth gear tenth gear eleventh gear this it just keep going i'm just gonna keep pressing okay the, it oh no okay i saw that ocean out of the corner of my eye i barely caught ourselves there but it looks like the maximum gear is 14 oh we can go insanely fast on 14 hey why did it reset me back to four okay let's go back up to 14 i think whenever i slow down it automatically turns you to a lower gear but anyways let's go ahead and stop you guys are gonna have such a fun ride i've got the best vip seats for you guys okay let's hop out to help these guys on you get to sit here here and you get to sit here i know i know these seats are so comfortable right have a fun trip you guys and also hopefully you enjoy this video and if you do a like or even a sub would be very much appreciated now believe it or not i've never actually ever been on this path before i always assumed this airport island was never connected to the mainland arctic but it turns out i'm actually wrong and if you guys can see that bridge way over in the distance that connects the airport island over to the mainland 
and that's exactly where we're going to be going. Okay, okay, second set of passengers is over here. We're just going to put you guys there. Also, good luck riding the vehicle like this. You're going to need it. The tank steering of this vehicle is really coming in handy. Like, instead of having to make a complete U-turn to turn around on this road, I can just press left and I'll go straight back the way I came from. The only thing I have to complain about it is that I can't actually turn left or right while moving forward. This is because one of the treads have to be moving backwards in order to do tank steering and to go forwards you need both tracks moving forward so it's basically impossible to go forwards and turn at the same time when you're using a tank steering system let's up our gearing by a little bit because i don't want this trip to take ages okay guys we're coming over the bridge for some reason this bridge is only one lane wide i don't think that's very good for traffic now you may be asking where are we actually going so around this area is where we picked up our passengers now our planned route is going along this bridge taking a right and instead of continuing along this road we're gonna say who needs roads i have an off-roading vehicle let's just take a shortcut and what we're gonna do is go through these mountains along this lake until we get to the lighthouse i mean going through the middle of this island has got to be faster than going around this entire top section of the island just to get to this lighthouse and besides this thing's designed to handle really rough terrain so why not take advantage of that this person's back is not going to be feeling very good after a little bit oh no oh no guys no i messed up i i fell come on okay we're well back to where we were before what are the point of these walls like they're not doing anything they're not stopping me from falling over at all i would like you to compare the height of this wall to the height of my vehicle like why not just save money and don't make walls at all i guess that would be pretty ridiculous if a bridge didn't have any sort of walls on the sides of it that would be pretty precarious if you tried to go along that Now we are going to be on the Arctic mainland in 3, 2, 1, and now we are on the Arctic mainland. Now which way are we going to go? Left or right? That's right, we're going straight ahead. Because who needs roads when you have an off-road vehicle? I think I'm going to regret taking the shortcut in a little bit. Oh, okay, that was a pretty big jump. I mean, it wasn't that big, but I wasn't really expecting to have a jump there. Okay, just to let you guys know where I am on the map, I am right here currently. So all I have to do is go northeast until I get to the end of the lake, then just go southeast. And then bam, I've got these lighthouse workers to their destination. Okay, so one thing I wanted to check out is whether or not there are weight blocks at the bottom. There actually isn't, because for some reason, I went across really steep mountains just now, and I have not even tipped slightly. Now either this has some sort of stabilization glitch or weight blocks hidden in the bottom or this is just really really well designed and insanely non-top heavy which is very impressive. Oh, okay, that's a cliff. I do not want to go over this thing. Oh, guys, we're actually almost there. We just, we don't have to follow this lake anymore. We can just keep going east now. I'm pretty sure the lighthouse is, oh, there's the lighthouse. Do you guys see it way over there in the distance? We just have to make it through these trees without crashing into them. Let's just go around this forest. How about that? Okay, I got myself on top of my vehicle and over there we can see the lighthouse, which is pretty cool. I've also actually never been to this lighthouse before. I've been to Lighthouse Frantic, but never Lighthouse what is it called ah yes i've never been to lighthouse arcturus okay down this mountain we go let's put ourselves on max speed which is 14 i think this thing's max speed is like 50 miles per hour or whatever this unit is it's probably kilometers per hour or something like that i don't know but it looks like this is our destination so let's turn on our brake where's our brake oh, it automatically turns on when we slow down that's pretty cool so let's turn off this engine and hop out and bring these guys to the lighthouse did you have a fun time time okay you guys follow me what are you guys doing what are you doing why are you guys taking turns running into the fence okay now you guys all stopped it looks like they gave up on following me okay this time don't run into a wall that's not exactly the smartest thing to do okay this way along these houses i'm not sure whose houses these are because maybe it's actually the lighthouse crew's houses okay come with me guys up this ladder wait a second how am i gonna bring these guys up the ladder i'm gonna have to do it one by one aren't I. Let's just see if they're smart enough to climb ladders. Oh, wait a second. They actually can climb ladders. I had no idea that they could do that. That's actually amazing. That's great. 
That just saved me three extra trips up and down in total. Cool. Okay, the fact that I'm surprised that they know how to climb ladders really shows something about how smart I think these AI are. Okay, you guys got up here, and I'm not sure what you're really gonna do up here, but I mean, you wanted me to bring you guys up here, so bye. And well, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.